Hello and welcome. Today we'll be going through the Optisys for Abacus tutorial 1. This is the composite sizing optimization of a simple box beam. The aim of this example is to demonstrate the fundamental optimization and coupling capabilities of Optisys for Abacus. It will show how to define a simple design rules with its objective and constraints before showing how to view the optimized laminates in uh, a post processor. In this case I will be using Abacus CAE. Here I have already opened it up with two files. The one on the left is the initial file for tutorial one showing an initial displacement of 50 millimeters and on the right we have the optimized model showing a decrease in the displacement to about 5 millimeters. To begin we'll be going over to OptiAssist for Abacus where we'll open up and load the Abacus input file. You'll be using the tutorial 1.inp Once that has loaded up you'll be on the apply design rules tab. The first thing we are going to do is define a new thickness set. So under thickness set data we'll click on new. On description name we'll call it 0 to 30 plies. With the minimum being 0 and the maximum being 30. We'll click OK and after highlighting all four box laminates as well as the thickness data we'll click on a th assign thickness set with the one indicating that the new set data has been applied. Once we've done that we can click on next. No ply linking would be needed for this optimization so again we'll click on next. The goal for this optimization is the default minimize mass. So once you have checked that that is there, you can click on next. And under the constraints tab, we'll click on new. And we'll define a displacement constraint. Naming it, naming it disp for short with an upper bound of 5 millimeters, as mentioned before. We will then apply the displacement constraint at the node 521, with the component being magnitude, before clicking on create. Once you have done that, we can click on next. And when you are happy with the solution type setup, we'll click Submit. Once the optimization has finished running, if you close OptiAssist and go to your post processor, in this case Abacus, you will find the new updated file in the original tutorial one folder titled tutorial1 underscore opt. On the right here I have already opened it up and by looking at the magnitude of the displacement u you can see that the constraint of displacement of 5 millimeters has been met for the optimization. To take this further, you can analyze the CSV file made from the optimization. If you go to the same folder where the tutorial one is and open up ply fact map zero. Once you've opened that up, you can see the four initial laminates from the file as well as their 
new plies that have been added from the thickness set. This also shows that the third box laminate, the top and bottom at zero degree, is the most effective laminate, having had 22 additional plies added to it. This concludes the tutorial.